Welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video on how to apply steri strips. Steri strips are closure devices that most often are being used to secure the approximation of the wound after staples or sutures have been removed. And so the, you might encounter this in the inpatient as well as the outpatient setting when patients might come in for their post-op visit. Now the application of steri strips is a clean, not a sterile procedure. And in this case of this wound, the sutures or staples have already been removed. Now it takes, um, um, you need to select the correct size of steri strips and they typically come in one length, looks like this, and then they come in different widths. So in this case these are a half an inch by four inches long or 12 millimeters by 100 millimeters long and the length is typically the same although they do come in bigger strips now keep in mind that we are going to apply these strips across the patient's wound so we want to make sure we have enough to kind of hold the wound together but also we want to make sure that we don't overlap too much because that in like any tape or strip it could irritate the patient's skin and in this case this wound here is not very properly um, approximated so but we'll just say that for for uh, purposes of this video that it's been that it's better approximated and the staples or sutures have been removed now I also want to make sure I have some cleaning solution here to clean the wound with and then some sterile scissors because I might need to trim the edges so then I can and the important thing is that I do have sterile uh, suture, sterile scissors because I don't want to contaminate and the wound the surgical wound that this patient has so I'm going to prepare my strips so I'll take out one of these strips and this is a little bit too long so I'll take my scissors here and I'll cut off the end so to make it the correct length for this particular patient sometimes it helps there is a thing called a benzoin tincture which is a solution that comes in a in a tiny little a vial that you would squeeze and you could squeeze that on the wound edges where the steri strips are going to adhere and it'll just make the strips stick better to the patient but so now I've cut my steri strips, I put them back in their wrapper and I will take the cleaning solution and clean the wound like we usually do from one side to the other on one edge and then put this in my disposal and then clean the other edge and then clean down the middle. Now I'm ready to apply my steri strips and the key is that you start on one end of the wound and make yourself the, toward your way the other way. Sometimes in a case like this where there's a little bit of an opening it might help if you put in one on each end and then one in the middle otherwise you might kind of push the opening towards one end or the other. And the other key is that you want to kind of secure the steri strip on one end and then kind of pull it over to help close that wound. And in this case, since we have that big opening here, I will put one right across here. So I again tape this down and then hold it closed. And you can see I can really pull these wound edges together and hold them together. Now on this particular mannequin um, simulator here it, the steri strips don't stick that well but the tincture of benzoin definitely helps if you have that available. So now that I've secured these three I'm going to place a couple more in between always pulling the one end down on the one side and then really pulling on this tab so the wound edges can be together and you can see they're not perfectly um, the same length perfectly cut but that's perfectly fine as long as we have them together 
So you can see how actually there's a little bit of a, a space now that has come from that. That's a little bit more space in between there because I've been able to close the wound with these steri strips. Um, and this will be fine. And then depending on the orders, we can either cover this wound or just leave it open to air. Um, and then the patient will usually ask, when do these come off? And the answer is they don't come off. They will fall off automatically. And so usually at this point of the wound healing, the patient will be able to shower and then eventually the edges will start to peel off and will simulate this here. And so the best thing to tell the patient, if the edges um, start to peel off, don't pull off the steri strip because you might disrupt any granulation tissue that you have in here, or you might also um, open up the wound again. So if this happens and it's annoying and in the way, you want to tell them, just to trim the edges and then eventually with time these steri strips will just kind of fall off on their own and then let's say another strip um, was to peel off and this typically takes a few days so we, the patient could just trim the edges and then eventually it'll just loosen up enough most likely that's going to happen in the shower after water runs over the wound and you can um, and they can then very easily remove the steri strips. Typically they'll stay on for a few days. It depends on the patient's activity level and the exposure of the you know shower and the length of the exposure to water. Clearly because this wound is still fresh we don't want the patient to be submerged in water so a bathtub or a hot tub until it's completely healed and they are instructed to do that by their surgeon. So thank you for watching this video on Nursing School explaining how to apply steri strips and I'll see you soon.